we going? Are we sure? No, I don't know what you're doing. Yes, we're good. Are we good? Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're doing really well. So yeah, Leah was on the camera there, so uh, I wasn't quite sure if we were filming or not, but apparently we are, so that's all good. Just as a favour, Lollipop, shut that door or pull the door up a little bit for me. Thanks. Anyway, <laughs> let's crack on with a beer review. We're doing a beer review from a beer that's a bit of a blast from the past for me. Certainly a beer that I used to drink back in the early 90s when I first started really going into pubs and buying beers. Uh, and it was Castlemaine Forex. And there it is. Look at this. Castlemaine Forex. This is called Castlemaine Forex Gold. I don't know how different it is to the original Castlemaine Forex. Uh, it, this is made in Australia, it is imported from Australia. Uh, really difficult can art to read, absolutely ridiculous to try and read the words rather. Um, and even just trying to find the alcohol percentage, it's 3.5%, it's almost alcohol free, isn't it? 3.5% Castlemaine 4X Gold, full flavoured Australian lager apparently. Uh, it's not in a 330, it looks like a 330 can, but it isn't, it's a... 375, yeah, 375 milliliter can, and this beer is 99% sugar free. There we go. <laughs> Happy days. Anyway, let's crack on with this one. Let's get this one out in a glass, see how she looks, how she sniffs, and how she tastes. Yeah, like I say, when I was first going into pubs, sort of 15, 16, uh, 4X was everywhere. And I did used to drink it. I haven't had it for years, absolute years. So I saw it in my local offy. Uh, this was a pound. Uh, there it is, a pound. Uh, I thought it's got to be worth a go for a pound. Head's gone. No head whatsoever. Um, looks like a lager, doesn't it, really? Shame it hasn't got a head. Uh, fairly well. That's a lie. It's not fairly well carbonated. There's hardly any bubbles moving up that. Hardly anything looks as flat as a fart that does. Let's see how this sniffs. Excuse me, clear the nose a bit. <laughs> it smells of nothing. There's no aroma. I'm not going to keep sniffing super hard. My mic's right there. That's all you're going to hear, but there's no aroma whatsoever so let's see how it tastes i mean it looks dreadful doesn't it let's see how it tastes cheers i'm gonna have to have another mouthful i might have to have another couple actually it's a bit gassier than what it looks I don't know how big Castle Main 4X Gold is in Australia. I imagine it's an Australian macro lager, and it will be. Um, yeah, it's, it's rubbish. <laughs> it's utter rubbish. Uh, it's just water with a bit of flavouring. There is a bit of breadiness to it. But that's it that's all it's got going on very thin it's 3.5 percent it's gonna be isn't it um it does feel kind of refreshing in a strange type of way just like a sparkling water would and it's just got a bit of a bready note to it a very 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 slight maltiness to it um yeah it, it's just generally really poor is all i can say about that you could certainly drink a few and not have to think about it. So on a hot day, maybe in hot climates, maybe somewhere like Australia, on the rare occasion we get a super hot summer, you could smash a few, it'd be quite refreshing. You could probably smash quite a few around the barbecue and not if you don't wanna think about what you're drinking, um, it might suit that type of occasion, but it certainly doesn't suit a winter's day in the UK. Flavorless, pretty tasteless really carbonated water with a little bit of bready flavour and malt. That's about it. That's all it's got. I'm all done. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Cheers. Goodbye. <laughs>